Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And this morning, woke up nice and early, got the new iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max pre-ordered. So expect videos on those coming very soon. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when those go live. But right now, we are going to talk about the new leather wallet with MagSafe from Apple. So we'll take a quick look what you get in the box. And then I wanna go into detail on my impressions of it and some further testing with different pants that you're going to wear and with it on the silicon case and just the device itself. So realistically, haven't had any issues while wearing athletic shorts or sweatpants with the wallet, but it's a little bit of a different story when it comes to jeans, khakis, etc. So we'll do a lot more testing with it and take a close look at the design of this wallet. Let's get started. For the quick unboxing, first of all, there are multiple colors, so it doesn't just come in blue. And flipping it over, it does say natural leather on it. So let's go ahead and take it on out. Setting the wallet to the side for just a second, still says designed by Apple in California, and all it has is just one little booklet inside. The wallet is very slim. It has an Apple logo on the outside. Definitely feels like real leather. Uh, and gives you a bit of a tutorial on how to take the cards out of it. Essentially, you just can kind of push up from the back and grab the card. And here is the card itself. Just again, a little tutorial letting you know how to do it. Before we attach it to the phone, here's a quick look at the stitching and just the overall design of the wallet for you. Flipping it over on the back. There's just a little bit of texture on the inside there. Feels really good though. First test, let's attach it to the 12 Pro without a case and it will align itself, feels fairly strong. I did feel a slight vibration. There should also be an animation like all other MagSafe attachments that pop up letting you know it is fully connected. Now the strength of the magnet, it doesn't really feel too strong to be completely honest. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit stronger than it is. No, I wouldn't worry about it flying off at all while you're just carrying it or holding it, but it's more of when there's any pressure applied to the sides or anything, it does seem to fairly easily detach from the magnet. On the other hand, let's try it with the silicon case attached. This is my iPhone 12. Setting it on, again, same animation that you're going to get across the board. Uh, and this time, I will say, it feels a little bit stronger with the case, to be honest. You have to give it a little bit more force when you apply it to the wallet to detach it from the magnets. I believe it's because the magnets in the case itself are just a little bit stronger, giving you that added security. Also keep in mind the silicon might add a little bit more friction to the leather as opposed to the back of the iPhone, which is a little bit more slick with it being glass. Now, let's go ahead and add some cards. For the sake of privacy, I grabbed a few standard sized gift cards and we'll put them in one by one. So first of all, Putting in the first one, it's fine. And even when there is just one card in there, you do not have to worry about it falling out whatsoever. There, it, does, it is in there very secure. Putting in a second one and then a third one, and that is the limit. So here is one more card we are going to put in. Oh, we're not going to put it in because it is definitely way too cramped, a little bit too tight. I was able to put a little bit of a thicker credit card in there with two gift card style cards, if you're worried about that. When it is attached, you can't just pull the cards out. You have to actually detach the wallet and push up from that back hole, and then it will reveal all three cards where you can pretty easily just grab one of them out of there. But again, I think this is on purpose that they only have three cards because generally they're just going to say use Apple Pay and have cards for other things, maybe your, your driver's license or something else. Now, when it comes to testing, there's a couple things to make note of. I did say that the case actually had a little bit stronger magnets. However, it's a little bit bulkier. So for example, I'm just wearing a standard pair of jeans. Uh, they're not skinny jeans by any means. That will be a different story if you're wearing skinny jeans. But uh, with these, I'd say the pockets have a little bit of give to them that's not stitched crazy close to my leg. So when I do actually casually put it in, the wallet does not fall off whatsoever when I have it on just the phone. And that's consistent. I really have no issues with it falling off when I'm wearing these jeans at all, any of the testing that I have done. Now the difference when I put it on the case is that it's more thick. So when I do put it in the exact same jeans, the exact same way, 
you'll see it pops off consistently. And that's just because it's a little bit thicker. Even though the magnets are a little bit stronger, it's still going to pop off. Now, I did essentially find a solution for that. And I did kind of put it into my muscle memory. Essentially, what you do is when you're putting it in, you kind of have your thumb to push it down and it catches the wallet and pushes it back down into your pocket. Now, when I do take it out of my pocket, I haven't had any issues with it staying in my pocket. I know I saw some reports of that, but for me, that hasn't been a problem with these jeans. Now, with a different pair of jeans on, these are a little bit more form-fitting and the pockets are definitely smaller. And even when I have the wallet on the phone, it will catch most of the time and come off. So you really just have to get that muscle memory going of when you're putting it in your pocket to catch it with your thumb on the bottom of the phone. That's just kind of how it needs to be. And when I take the phone out of my pocket, I'm essentially holding onto the wallet, pulling it out of my pocket. So it's never staying in my pocket and the magnets do help keep it on the back of the phone. And of course, when putting it in with a case, it's just added that it's a pretty much guarantee that the wall is gonna pop out when I put my phone in my pocket. Continuing our fashion show, just kidding, I know I look pretty goofy, but with these pants on, uh, more khaki style with these side pockets to them, I have no issues. Really no problem at all with it popping out when I'm putting it in to my pocket or taking it out. And when you do take it out of your pocket and you're looking to pay for something, it's pretty easy to just kind of slide over and pull the cards out of the wallet. Using the phone with the wallet attached has not been uncomfortable by any means, so don't worry about that. And also, since it does take up so much surface area on the back, when you set it down flat on a table or a desk, it doesn't rock whatsoever, so it is comfortable to use flat on a table. And just some final thoughts on Apple's MagSafe wallet. Overall, I'm a fan of it and can recommend it. It is a premium looking, feeling product. I like how easy it is to put back on your phone after you take it off to take the cards out of it. Uh, again, the one thing is you, depending on the type of pants you're wearing, you might have to be aware of when you put the phone in your pocket, which can be a little annoying to some people, but for me, it really wasn't that difficult to get used to. So overall, that's everything from me on Apple's MagSafe wall. More to come on MagSafe accessories and the new iPhone. So stay tuned. Again, be sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.